It is time for some blue marlin hunting, fishing. We got six, count them, six competitors here tonight to compete for the Salsa Shacks, the biggest marlin. I hope you're ready. You're going to have a whole hour to fish to your heart's content to get the biggest marlin swordfish or Sunfish? Sailfish. Sunfish. Sailfish. <laughs> sunfish. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the biggest sunfish? Have you it'd seen be like, a sunfish? It'd be like six pounds max, right? <laughs> Those are really small. Um, so you're not going to win with a sunfish. You might win with a sailfish. I'd be I really don't know impressed. How big it is. Or I'd really, be impressed. Really unimpressed with your competition if you <laughs> win a marlin contest. I've been sunfish. fishing... I've been fishing a grand total of like three times in my life, like real world fishing, and I've only caught sunfish. So, uh, and it was a ah, sunfish. So, okay, that is that is where we're at. Uh, we're a little bit late getting started, so we're gonna jump right in. A we'll get through late. some yeah, a little late you getting started, say. but it's okay. So we're gonna make sure everybody's ready. So if you all could ready up, if you're listening, get in the the Marlin Race event well, chat. I think we need Give someone. Your... We need someone to go shake shake Kumacon up. It doesn't look like they're even on the blue marlin. Oh, no. Well, I mean... Oh, maybe Kuma. we're loading now. Kuma, you there was around. a change. <laughs> there was a mild change. I saw a little flicker. But it could also be that the screensaver has kicked in. He got bored waiting. What can I say? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry. That's what happens when you, when, you, know, you try to have nice, uh, nice streams like this. I mean, Twitch you OBS, know, they'll, they'll have a hard time playing nice. Would it be, would it be a salsa shack stream without a little bit of technical difficulties? Um, I wish Truly. I could say yes, but <laughs> so far it, it, I mean it, listen, it's a perfect batting average at this point. <laughs> Let's just let's just take it, it. Don't as ruin it comes. It. Don't ruin it. We'll just we'll always have an issue, and then you know if it ever comes the day where we make it through an entire stream without an audio issue or an OBS issue or some sort of issue, then you know that'll be that'll be like the the that'll be the oddball, and people will be like, well, how did you do that? How did they do? How that? come? Why did you they disappointed do that? me? I expected you to be ten minutes late. I mean, you, you gotta have a certain amount of shenanigans, and I think the software understands that, and so they're gonna throw us some monkey wrenches and some curveballs. Absolutely. We'll just, uh, we'll, that we'll is, just have to make us feel ourselves dealing with them. That is a fact. That is 100% reality. Um, so it looks like we've got a ready from Retrofile, a ready from Ness. We have a getting there from Kumacon. We're waiting on. <laughs> Darth Tyrael, we're waiting on Binks. Kuma's ready, and we need Noise Police to get ready back up. Uh, it does appear from his mainstream window over here that I can see he has left the chair. Uh, knowing Noise Police, it's to get a little fresh air. I don't. I don't think. Uh, what's going? What's going on with Binks? Um, I think Binks is just playing the game. Getting some last minute practice in. Does he does he know the uh, the timer hadn't started yet? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's let me jump over to his. Oh, maybe he already started. Maybe he was like. Oh. Maybe he was like, it's nine o'clock. It's go time. If uh, so, he's got a one thousand and three pound fish written on his layout. So. I'm not sure. I'm he not might. sure. Does someone mind checking in on old? Was that directed at moi? No, you're good, noise. You're good, noise. We're we're waiting for all uh, competitors to be available now. There's some typing going on. Oh, Altis beat me to the punch. I'm fast. Yeah, I'm very slow. <laughs> and my keyboard is incredibly noisy. All you guys can hear is click, click, click with my. Clickety clacks. All right, so we're just checking in. So, 
for anyone who's not familiar with the Blue Marlin or this event, if you're just tuning in, the objective uh, for this quote-unquote race is to catch the biggest um, in-game qualifying fish with a one-hour time limit. So it's very much like a uh, like a real fishing tournament if you were to go. You'd have a set amount of time, you'd go hit the water, and you'd catch your fish, and the biggest fish at the end of the day wins. And there are some fish that count, some fish that don't count. And uh, in this event, only marlin type fish, uh, swordfish, and uh, sailfish are qualifying I fish. I messed you up there. I could hear it. You were going to say sunfish. I'm so <laughs> you know, sorry. I probably was. I'm I probably so was going to say sunfish. Because you were like, hey, what did he say? He said sunfish. That's right. Just catch a sunfish. If you catch a sunfish, I think you probably won because they're not in this game. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think there's a sunfish. You can't catch a sunfish, so good luck with that. Yeah. Those uh, are those are, in, those are another game. Do we have all runners ready now? We have we have six ready runners. Uh oh, six runners ready uh -oh. at the well, ready. Uh, Binks is not on the uh, the starter screen though, right? Who's not? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll be we'll be starting here in just a minute. I think what I'd like to do now is give everyone a glimpse of the prize that they uh, could potentially be winning. So let me let me get that up here. on ever to resize. <laughs> this is a gigantic image. Uh, Ness, actually. Ness 7 or 9 sent this to us. Um, it is the prize for catching the biggest marlin. And I'm about to have it ready. It's going to occupy all the screens real estate. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? Bam! 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 Look at that. P Pico, is that a is that a complete in box blue marlin? Why yes, Alti, it is. <laughs> that's that's um, wowzers! Look at that. Yep, yep. This uh, this prize is generously offered up by Ness Seven or Nine, uh, and there are five other competitors that are going to try to uh, st to stop him from being able to keep his own prize. So you guys. Step up, uh, take the take the the real the real real uh, from Nest Seven or Nine, and catch the biggest marlin. So that way he's not going home with his own prize. <laughs> so uh, I guess with that we are just about ready to get started. When you say Avo, yeah, I would say that's a, that's a fact. We're just uh, checking in one more time with uh, Binks to make sure that they are on the proper start screen so that we can get a clean race, or a clean event, rather. Ness 7 or 9 says, it's complete-ish. It's missing the inserts, like a registration card, all that stuff. But uh, hey, I mean, man, it's got the styrofoam. It's got the styrofoam. The styrofoam. <laughs> it, it's got That's... a lot of goodies in there, so... Start at sunrise, That's yeah. So if we can get all of the the runners to to ready up, we'll be uh, we'll be starting soon. Oh, that's a question. Start at sunrise. I thought you were just being silly because we're being slow. Like, are you gonna start at sunrise? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's where people are. Look, I mean, geez. reasonably, yeah. But the press start button screen, I think, is where everybody's at. Yep. Yep. Um. Everyone looks to be there except Binks. We got Binks yep. who's just boating around. Is Retro File one screen forward or one screen back? I think he's one screen forward. Okay, I, it, it's okay to be on Retro Files. Uh, retro Files on the uh, the stage select screen. So Ness, Kuma, Noise, uh, Darth Tyrael. <laughs> It's it's okay to be on that three for window, and then and the retro file changes it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, he's so he's ready. It's just a huge delay on stream. Oh, he is ready. Oh, he's ready. It's a huge delay. Okay. Okay. Well, that then, makes. Uh, 
That makes a lot more sense. Oh, okay. So we're like, he's just fishing. Like, what's going on? All right, that's yeah, that's that's. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get there, I guess. Okay, <laughs> if 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 all the racers wouldn't mind getting to the stage select screen, get into the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse, the one that looks kind of like a uh, a golden version of the layout that we're using right here, which was provided uh, very generously by one Abo Drock. Uh, Thanks, Abo. Uh, you're you're quite welcome. I you didn't want me to mention I do, it. I, I do aim to please. Well, you, you, know, you did a great job. Whatever. I think it looks fantastic. It, it's looking like noise refuses. <laughs> That's looking like okay. you have Binks and Retrofile are mimicked. What do you mean? You're gonna have to pull Binks in again oh, because no. Retrofile. <laughs> But I oh, think right. I think at this point you I have time we're... because Bing says a delay. Yeah, so go right ahead and pull him in. And why don't we? I think everybody's ready. So the racers are all ready. We can do the countdown and we can set everything up. So okay. um, why don't we get started? Uh, only a half an hour late. Yeah. I see, uh, I see. Oh, half an hour is that what it is already? Yeah, we're right about there. So I think we should just start, and then you can pull Binks in while the, while they're going. Okay, so if we've had very patient racers at this point. Yeah, very right, patient. Really appreciate you all. So we're gonna get a countdown going and then start the timer. Good luck. Have fun. Catch fish. <laughs> no whammies. The obligatory warning gif. Counting down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Fish on. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, fishing! I'm a, I'm and so as, as people have been trickling in, um, remember the goal of this is not a race. We're not trying to see who can beat the game the fastest. We are trying to see who can catch the largest marlin. Largest marlin type fish. Any fish that would qualify in the game to win you the the in-game event, which is uh, the blue marlin, the black marlin, uh, the swordfish, and the sailfish, um, is fair game. So, if we're looking for, as you can see on Noise Police's screen right now, he's wrestling with a fish that has a fin, so that is guaranteed to be some type of fish that could be helpful. Will it be heavy enough for him to want to take it back to the dock and move on from Florida? Or is he going to stay in Florida a little longer? It looks like it's a struggle, so it might actually be uh, a pretty hefty one. It might be enough to get him out of there. We'll Though it see. did look like Noise did not extend, um, bring in the closer line. But that was a pretty hefty fish. That is potentially enough to get out of Florida. Well, <laughs> they're going to want to get to Hawaii, I think Hawaii 3. Maybe you can catch the big fish in Hawaii too, but I think Hawaii 3 provides us with the largest um, the largest size marlins you can catch, uh, which I believe are upwards of a thousand pounds. Is that right, Pico? I'm not entirely sure. I was concentrating on Binks there, who is now brought My bad. in to the races. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not sure what the exact limit, the, the, the weight limitations are on each stage. Uh, I've heard Ness say that he's caught some real big fish uh, in Florida. So Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so maybe yeah. they don't have to. Maybe they can just sit in Florida all day. They can. Um, they can if they so choose. The, the, the strategies are really wide open because you can go anywhere between the four different levels any of the three stages within the four different levels. You can reset the game. You can do anything other than, you know, slap in some game genie codes or whatever. But, um... I don't see why you'd want to reset the game, even though it would it would be allowed, because then you'd be resetting your strength uh, and everything just uh, back to... back to normal. You're, you're, right, that's not... Fisherman, yeah, your fisherman guy starts off uh, kind of wimpy. He doesn't really know how to fish. He's not strong, and he doesn't have the muscles. And so you have to develop the muscles and the uh, the fishing strength and all that. And you'll see uh, as the game proceeds here that uh, it, it's kind of an RPG element to oh. this uh, fishing game. 
Noise police with a 400 even is our first catch that has an actual value. We got right, so our we got first way in. 400. Yeah, 400. Get him on the board! It looked Good like Noise moved on to a uh, new area, right? Yeah, that, so that is enough to, to get them out. Um, when they get to that final screen there, after they weigh the marlin, and it cuts to the did you win, did you not win, we're looking for the dude that has the, the, the green cap and the peace sign. If it's the, the angry blonde dude who uh, shows up, then you've lost, and you've got to try try that stage over again. He's kind of got the, the smirk of victory about him. Yeah, he's a real smirky smirker. Don't like that guy. No, not at all. Now, one thing I was um, hearing earlier before uh, before this race got started, I was hanging out in Noises Stream, and they were talking that there actually is a timer that you can only fish so long in a given area. Correct. But we probably won't be seeing that today because the end it takes about an hour to <laughs> progress through a real time hour to progress through and hit that timer. Correct. So you could it theoretically stay in Florida this whole time. Yeah, no, just about, just about. I think it's actually about a 45-minute timer, um, and you can tell what part of the day you're on. Uh, there is a sun in the corner that looks like it's just there as decoration, but it does actually move around the screen to the different corners of the screen as the day progresses. Uh, bottom left being, uh, you know, early morning, top left being, like, mid, you know, midday, early before noontime, top right afternoon, and then bottom right, obviously, uh, eat closer to the evening time. I think it goes to about five or six o'clock in the evening. So theoretically, they could they could waste waste. They could use all of their time in one area, but I don't. I just don't think it's advisable. Uh, Dark Tyrael restarting. Ness going for a way, and let's see what he's got. So Ness's first one is five twenty eight. Ness is, uh, his strength just got bumped up to a... Look at that. 968. <laughs> That's got to be the word. leader now. Oh, my. That's a big boy. Now, I must have missed Darth's because he, he doesn't look like he's on the same. Is that a Florida screen he's yeah, on? Yeah, he went back. Yeah, so the, he went to a different area in Florida. To, and he actually reset and started this section over. I'm not sure if there's some strategy there, like what the what the play is. Um, he's got world record in uh, Florida percent right now, I believe. So if anybody's gonna know, it's it's definitely it's definitely Darth. So he must have some inside tip. Yeah, Something's Darth, going on. Darth is uh, pretty new to this game, but man got an understanding of it and he got real good real quick oh he's he's actually he's quite the accomplished speedrunner he he's like moth to a flame with this stuff and that was no kumakan with a 592, 592. Ooh, with a 592 good catch i thought i saw that but I didn't trust my old eyes <laughs> Now we can only catch so many of these. If if any of you racers are are actively listening to chat, uh, be mindful that if uh, you should be taking stock of what you catch and what the weight is, and dropping it in the race chat so that we can see it. Uh, in the event that we don't happen to catch it live on stream, as there are six of you, lots going on. We could miss it. We do appreciate it. We got Noise with a Marlin on, Binks with a Marlin on, Ness with a Marlin on. Or a Marlin type fish. So tell me, why would you want to catch a fish that isn't a Marlin? Like Retrofile's catching that Dorado up there. Uh, well, uh, it's possible that he doesn't know that you can cut the line. Um, that is a, a, not a tactic that is talked about often, but if you are in the middle of a battle with a fish and you press select, it gives you a couple of options, one of which is to cut the line. Um, another reason you might want to wrestle that fish is to build body. Um, if he's trying to get his body from, say, C to B or B to double A, he might be just catching whatever's out there just as it comes up so that he can, you know, build up the body so that he can catch the larger fishes as the event goes on. 
This will be right, moving so on to the next area, looks like, but that does yeah. not pass his t uh, best total. No, it does not. But that's okay. There is also ongoing for the entire month of Marlin. Um, a, uh, we've been keeping track of who does catch the biggest uh, tuna, shark, and marlin during the entire month. So seeing as we are still in September, every fish that's caught here counts. Uh, a Dorado is not on that list of fish um, for the for the kind of the leaderboards that we're keeping. So I don't really know why you catch the Dorado aside from uh, building up strength. But uh, if someone does catch a shark, I mean, there is a chance that someone could catch uh, the biggest shark of the month or tuna of the month right here on stream, and then uh, they'd be taking home some additional prizes for that, too. So Noise Police trying to catch himself a whale marlin. Um, now, typically the marlin will show up behind uh, schools of fish. There are two different types. On Retrofile screen, you see that five uh, five shape in the like they are on a die in the cross shape. Now those, if they hit the edge of somewhere, will just disappear. So chasing them down, you've got to be quick uh, to catch marlin from them. And then the other shape, which is you can see, uh, well, could have seen on Darth Tyrael's screen there, uh, is a more of a U shape or a V shape. Those will bounce off of whatever they bump into. So you can chase them down for a long time trying to catch a marlin out of them. So it can be to your uh, advantage to follow them around instead. But you can also follow the whales. Uh, seagulls you can catch there. On Ness's screen, there was a seagull marlin that he's catching there. Looks like he backed up. Something happened there. But he's catching it now, so... There's marlin that, that followed the schools of fish, the birds, and the giant whale. Too bad you can't catch the giant whale. Uh, that would be that would be a different game entirely, and um, <laughs> n I don't know how popular it would be. I'd want to play it. <laughs> you want to catch whales? Maybe. It I, depends I on feel what bad kind for of the whales. You use to get to catch the whales. I mean, Pico Ahab. Pico Ahab. Yeah, really. Pico that. Ahab. I, I mean, Binks with the 406. There. Oh, Binks got a 406. Yep, looked like it, yep. All right, there he goes, setting that line. All right, so something interesting that just happened <laughs> is uh, my live split timer is connected to my the, the NumLock uh, keypad, the, the numeric <laughs> keypad. <laughs> and so <laughs> at, at just about 10 <clears throat> minutes in, I stopped the timer and accidentally reset it, so... There's, well, there's 10 minutes that should exist. Thankfully, thankfully, not only is Kuma running a timer, but Ness is running a timer. Retrofile is running a timer. Okay. I think Noise Police has a timer. Should Everybody's be, got a timer. So should be some pretty good uniformity for all of that. But, uh, should be okay. And, and we started roughly 9.30, so... Happy, happy month of Marlin to you all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> Maybe I'd be the worst Ahab ever. Right? <laughs> I, can't stay I mean, in my boat. <laughs> would you like to say it officially ends at um, ten thirty-one Eastern time? Is that about when we started? Uh, it looks like about ten thirty on the button. If if uh, Kuma's if my connection to Kuma is good. It looks about 10.30 on the button. Okay. Well, yeah. You know. That sounds good to me. Alright, there you go. Give or take. Like, The first 10, 10 seconds. minutes don't count. <laughs> <laughs> the first 10 minutes. Do they ever? Do they ever? I mean, this is King of the Hill. This is what's going on. It's, you know, we're basically catching fish to see who can catch the biggest in an hour. I mean, I don't... A minute here, a minute there. Everyone's gonna have the same amount of time towards at the end of the day, so... It's not like one person is going to get shot out or something, shorted. All right, let's see. Retro got one on. And you can see Ness will, uh, he'll catch one, and it looks like he's going to try to pull it in. And then he just backs out, because he knows immediately with how fast it's coming back, he can tell if it's not a big one. Oh, Ness just reset. 
Huh. Did he? Interesting. Sure did. Now, I wonder if that Ness, was intentional. Ness left his chair. Is he, is he going to ride out that 968? He's going to be like, come at me. Come at me, bro. I got 968. What you got? We're looking at the back uh, I don't know. of his chair right now. And... Yeah, he, he, he's, he was Splitsville. Well, I hope everything's well, okay with him. Checking his back chat here. There, okay, he's back. Meanwhile, okay. Meanwhile, Binks has one on the line. Retrofile moves to a new level. Not sure what that was all about. Maybe, uh... <laughs> he had to go to the bathroom. I and mean, that could be you it. know? I mean, I, could you imagine needing to go to the bathroom and you're sitting here looking at all this water and it's I'm <laughs> reminding you of your urge? <laughs> Constantly. I mean, at that point, at that point, it's time to grab the bait box and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's back. That was that was a mighty mighty quick bathroom trip. Looks looks like we have a report that he had to pee. It was indeed a bio break. <laughs> Thank you for that field reporting, Adam Zero. Handy to have those uh, m uh, men on the street, men, man on the street, people on the street. Oh yeah, there's. I don't Persons. think that there's enough defining characteristics to identify much about the, the those people. Other than ooh, ooh, Kuma in with a 791. Ooh, ooh. strong so second there. Bumps, strong second. Bumps his uh, time up a little bit. Let's take a peek over here. I still don't have a time for Darth Serial. No, he has. Uh, I don't know if he's fished one in just yet. I think to Darth Tyrell has caught some, but has kept yes, multiple has a, and has not weighed yeah, them. He, he hasn't weighed them yet. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, he hasn't been back to dock that I've seen. Nothing from Retrofile or Darth Tyrell. Biding their time. They have plenty of it. It is possible that they're just trying to, to build strength to fight the bigger fish in the later stages. Mm -hmm. And this is only the end of the first quarter. True, true. And another reset. I'm <laughs> yeah. <noise> then, yeah. <laughs> get Florida percent record here on stream or something with all these resets. Alright, retro. Everyone is, has one on the line except for Dark Tyrael right there and he's about to. That's something. Oh, Binks is now double A strength. That is the maximum amount of strength that you can have. Very buff. Changing his lure. Binks is changing his lure. Don't often see that. There's a lot now, of is there... uh, there's a lot of uncertainty as to what the different lures actually do in the game. I've heard some speculation that it's just the, they never finished the code for the game, and the different <laughs> lures don't really do anything, and some. Folks have said, well, the different lures perform better at night, which you don't see very often in the game, and so you might already start with the best lure, or some perform better in deep water. Uh, I think it's mostly superstition at this point, until somebody does a deep code dive. I mean, that doesn't happen I mean, in Nintendo games, right? I mean, they're all... It does. None of them are unfinished, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Pico. They're all finished. What are you talking about? That's exactly it. I was baiting. Like, they're there. all, yeah, they're but... all finished. There's no jank in a single solitary oh, NES gotta game. Wait from Ness. What's it gonna be? 806. That's enough 806. to move on to the next stage, which I guess is what he's wanting to do. Yep. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wait. It's good Doesn't top his best. Good oh, we have a report from the manual of the game itself, which. Uh, 
we could check, whoever wins this could check in the manual, that says mm -hmm. the skirt is good for catching marlins. Retro file, get his first fish in. 371. 371. How unfortunate. It's good little, enough to get him... And a little baby. Potentially. Potentially good enough to get him out of here, I think, but... No! no. Oh, shut down! In by Evil Florida, Steve. Retro file will remain. Be safe, friend. It's Mickle. That guy's name was Steve. Why do I think that guy's name was Steve? Um. Maybe because of that smirk on his face. It just seems like a like a Steve thing to do. I definitely don't think that. <laughs> okay, it's just me then. For, for for certain reasons that it will remain Steveless. Beats chiming in with an 807. Which I don't think has come up on his screen yet, but just discorded it in. And there it is. Yeah, there we go. There's our 807. There is a slight stream delay for all of these folks. But... Slight. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I used the 8 again. <laughs> I used the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just get rid of the timer and say uh, ends at 10:30 exactly p.m. Eastern. About <laughs> I just, I just wanna, I wanna just say that it it pleases me to no end to know that I am not the only person who forgets they have live split open and then types on the number pad. Absolutely. Because I 100% do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Don't oh, I gotta, go, I gotta go post, and then I go to type my time in to let everybody know how awesome I was, and then I look over, and I'm like, well, now I can't take a screenshot of my splits, huh? Good job. Anybody who hasn't done that doesn't have a number pad on their keyboard. That's all I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here's, a, here's another funny thing that I decided, that the next keyboard that I purchase for my computer is going to be 10 keyless so that I don't do that. Oh man, I love I love having that thing there. I'm, I oh yes, no, I no, no. I don't like when I accidentally pull a double duty. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not a good look. I couldn't live without it. I'm the the number pad is my my favorite part of the keyboard because I know it so says, well. 10 keyless is the way. He's kind of a he's kind of a smart <laughs> So fella. much space for clutter on his desk. <laughs> Retrofile with a 631. 631. Not too bad. Noise police with a Oh, that's not his fish. I wonder what he had. Did he I didn't steal see someone it. Someone else's fish? No, that was uh <laughs> That would be a noise police thing to do. I don't think so. <laughs> he, Give me your fish. Do you, where's where where are the marine police? Uh, the marina the marina police need to go out there and check that he's not uh, committing a BUI. Voting under the influence. Uh, voting under the influence. Yeah. That is that is a real crime. Uh, well, I believe it. I I I was like, wait. What do you, wait, that's a thing? And uh, yeah, it's a thing. He's out there with his box of Franzia wine, just <laughs> sipping gently. Wine on a boat. Yeah. Specifically. Look at him. Look how happy he is. They're yachting. Yeah, They're yachting. 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 Yeah. With the Franzia. <laughs> Spent all the money on the yacht. I, I'll tell you what, I didn't know what Franzia was a week ago, and since I found out about it, I've heard it in like seven different places. And like, I... What? <laughs> is, is it popular? Marlin fishing is a is a sport for uh, some rather wealthy individuals, though. I mean, you... you... You, you, you find some interesting stories when you look up uh, Blue Marlin. Uh, apparently, Michael Jordan has a... Uh, has a ship that went marlin fishing and caught a 400 and something pounder. Wow. Which, um, I mean, that's not terribly surprising. The man did do an awful lot of different things. He was a jack of all trades. I like the name of his boat, though. It was the Catch-23. <laughs> oh. That's fantastic. Well done, Michael how, Jordan. How do you not see that coming? He's 
better at puns than he was at baseball. <laughs> well, luckily, that wasn't his best sport. Luckily, I mean, luckily. it's not exactly what he's known for. I mean, he was better at golf, right? <laughs> true, true. Notorious golfer, that Jordan. Yeah. That's not him, is it? That's not the one. I don't know sports. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know enough about golf to weigh in. I just know Avodrock's voice just got real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Yeah, it's just trying to secretly slip that in. Adam Zero not... dropping a truth bomb. Any wine can be box wine, really. <laughs> I mean, if you got if you've got the shoe box, slap it in there. Uh, mm. Yeah, just put some barefoot up in there. Maybe some something a little more foot. fancy. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Barefoot, barefoot, Tina. What was it called? We're gonna spring for the bogle up in here. Shh. <laughs> Listen, I ain't fancy. Ain't fancy. <laughs> I also don't drink boxed wine, but but I'm not fancy. Ness keeping a fish and heading right to the dock with it. Kuma with a Happy. oh nine twenty three. Nice catch. Not quite enough to take first, but I mean it's in no. spitting distance for sure. Oh, yeah. It is nine twenty three. What Look was, at that big boy. Uh, oh, we just missed Ness's. I no, we didn't. It'll I show it right here. No. Yeah, 902. 902. He so did, it's not, he did it, get a oh, victory. Okay. He's now on to Hawaii 3. Has, has any... Has, <laughs> have we seen any fish get weighed down in the bottom right yet? So, Avodrock, buddy, you can't avoid saying Darth Tyrael's name all night long. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna have to say his name, friend. <laughs> I've said it. I've said it a few times, actually. To, I was just the player was, on the bottom right. <laughs> it's like we haven't. I just there's. I noticed. I noticed that there's no there's no extra numbers that aren't 85 after his name. We we haven't seen him weigh in yet. Oh. We need to see a weigh in. I mean, I mean, he's he's catching he's, some fish. He just caught. He's a, going uh, ham. He's caught a barracuda. He's going ham on the the, the fish. I mean, Beaks he has to have weighed in, right? R double A. Wow. Noise has eleven. Impressive. Fish. Does he have eleven fish, or was it just one? No, 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 no. It's telling you you have room for eleven. Uh oh. Retro, Retro with a nine hundred. Retro file with a potentially beefy weigh-in right here. 879. 879. Biggin. That's a biggin. That's such a happy song. We're watching Darth Tyrael's stream, but I mean, we also, I haven't seen Noise weigh-in in a while either. He he finished a level. There he goes. <laughs> All you had I to mean, do was mention it. I know. Okay. There it comes. He's at least got a five sixteen. And he didn't take it. Oof. That's a bummer. I mean, I, I mean he beat out by twenty pounds. That's he didn't rough. Take the level. That's all right. Just immediately restart the level. That's one of the benefits of this game is that it just lets you retry it immediately. So. Seems like this would be a fun casual playthrough in addition to a speedrun. Mm. It is. It is actually a very fun game. Um, like, I'm not big on fishing, as I said before, but this is actually quite a fun little game. And the, sp the speedrun is challenging because it's a lot of RNG, but um, there are categories that sort of eliminate some of it. Uh, in the sense that the 100% category requires you to catch a ton of fish in order to build your body and your muscles uh, and to get through all of the uh, quick time events, not quick time events, the, uh, the little mini events that show up occasionally and max out all of your stats. So it does sort of reduce the amount of RNG that you potentially have to deal with. A 
And if you're doing a 100% run, or if you're planning on doing 100% runs, you can start with a Florida percent run and just keep going. Florida Which is percent, handy. which turns into an any percent, and then if you botch the any percent, it just becomes a 100%. I mean, you're not wrong. Although, that is a 100% how that should work. There because... Are... There are a couple of different uh, tactics that would need to change, but I guess you could implement those as soon as you realize, like, okay, this is a botched any percent. Uh, and namely, one of the things that you would want to do is extend your line out to the full either 500 feet or 400 feet. Uh, that way you get lots of those, uh, oh no, your reel is overheating, what would you like to do? And uh, that's how you become a better fisherman, is when it presents those, uh, those challenges, those questions to you, it gives you three options, and really, you've just got a 33% uh, chance of getting the right one. It's totally random, but every time you get it right, your character becomes a little bit better of a fisherman. And uh, to, to complete the 100% category, you need to be double A level fisherman, oh. uh, strength and muscles. Oh, what? we got a weigh in. What did we miss? We got a weigh in we from missed. Darth Tyrio. We've got a weigh in. Oh, it's a Here good it one. It's a big one. 944. Well done, Woo. Darth. Jumps into second place. Just behind Ness with his 968. And we did miss a 532 on Noise Police, by the way. It wasn't enough to beat this level, but he did ah. get a 532. 532. Good catch. Good catch. Oh, wait. There he goes. He's he's weighing in. It's a big one. I just wanted Pico to have to type that just before we got an 816. 816. Nice. Nice. All right. So we've Not got so all the runners the now. Timer. <laughs> is it though? Is it really not attached? Because the timer started again. Oh, you can. Oh, oh, I took it. I, there we go. <laughs> so just go ahead and hide that. It'll be fine. What timer? What you? What time? What you I, I didn't about? see it. <laughs> Nine forty-four. Moving on to Hawaii. So two. we're at halftime, right? Just about. Oh yeah. So. Oh, exactly. It is halftime. Oh, is someone gonna dance? I am currently. Oh. You just gotta this, imagine it. This halftime special brought to you by Old Pokey. Oh. <laughs> and a six pack of Shiner. That's not the dance I had in mind, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. You get enough Shiners let's... in me, I might do anything. Oh, I love that crab. Everybody, let's see your dance emotion chat. This is uh, this is an exciting halftime show right yeah, here. Halftime show is now. <laughs> is now brought to you by chat. I don't know what Kuma's uh, emote is doing over there, but it definitely looks something like dancing. It's, it's shaking his groove thing. <laughs> nope, Peg Leg Pete getting in on the action. Well done. Well done shaking Mr. things up. Darth Tyrion with time to uh, enter in. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that is what, uh, how Darth, is, if that's like a representation of how Darth is feeling about this run so far. The very stressed out Donatello. Look at that rave he looked, party. Looking nervous. Oh, look at that light switch rave. It's amazing. Man, who's got the cheat as a emote? Nashik, oh, that's a sweet emote. It really is. Big face nice with an 802, fan. but it does not surpass the 807. Noise with a 719, also not surpassing his 816. Oh, he's got another one on deck. Nope. <laughs> the cheat is grounded. <laughs> So is there any downside to uh, selecting a high test line? I don't think so. I I feel like most of the time 
when you're doing the speed run, especially if it's just Florida percent, because uh, you have to set it every level anyway. Um, I don't find myself switching the test to a higher line. Uh, in the later levels, it might actually be helpful so that the line doesn't snap while you're trying to pull in a thousand pound Marlin. And you do need to catch quite a big fish to be able to beat the game. Somewhere in the vicinity of like, uh, I think it needs to be 700 or bigger. Like you, but it's like risky if it's 700. If you don't, you're not guaranteed a victory at that point. I wonder what the size of that tuna was that Beans had. It didn't catch it. Sorry. Well, he didn't weigh it in. He let it go. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Wow. If I if I just thought what I if I just saw what I thought I saw on Kumacon screen. Yeah, he's heading to the dock. <laughs> he's heading to the oh, dock. Oh, did he have a thousand what? pounder? Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that. Let's find out. Let's, Let's find, out. find out. It's a thousand. The second one is a thousand. What does Let's see. Have? First one's only oh, five. That was just five, five, five. Yeah, That's a thousand. Right oh, here. here we go. Here we go. This could be. This? this could be big. Come on. Come on. It's climbing. Oh, oh no, my word! Shy. Nine. Just five, nine, 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 five. Take that is good enough lead. for the lead. That it's is good enough, good enough for, the for the lead. I was excited for someone to break into four digits. He almost did. So what? He almost did. What do you think the winning weight will be? Like oh man. Nose? Yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, ten seventeen. Peg leg pessimist over here with the 995. <laughs> He's like, now nah, that's it. This this like 25 minutes left of fishing, and that's the biggest one we're gonna see. I mean, you might not be wrong. You might not be wrong. But these are six pro anglers. They are not gonna give up with your pessimistic attitude. Someone will have a thousand plus after the buzzer. That's that would be rough. If somebody caught the thousand pounder and brought it back to dock after we called time. 1066 Battle of Hastings. So Adam Zero, Have we seen a 1066? Have we? Is that we possible? Even, I don't know. <laughs> Rocket Sauna with a 996. One dollar, Bob. <laughs> One dollar, Bob. I've heard it theorized that 1050 might be the largest possible. Yeah, um, I don't know. I think it can be plus or minus a hundred pounds, right? So it could theoretically go all the way to eleven, like ten ninety-nine, right? I feel like if if it was plus or minus a hundred pounds, it should just say that a nine hundred pound marlin is an eight okay. pound marlin. I mean, I guess you're right. I guess he would the boat guy, in all of his infinite wisdom, would know within fifty pounds plus or minus. So I, so maybe it is 1050. I mean, I want to meet the boat guy who can heft the thousand pound marlin to be like, oh yeah, that's definitely over. <laughs> just just casually picks pounds. it up in a couple hands. I mean, yeah, it feels right. like it's about yeah, 980. Yeah, yeah, it's about 980 right there. <laughs> we'll call it a thousand, round it up. I mean, when you've got double A muscles, <clears throat> And when you got to, when you see the guns on the guy who finishes this game, man, you will be jealous. You, you will be envious. Darth you is once be... again weighing in in chat. He says yeah, the biggest well, is not 1050. He would know. He would know. So Adam Zero is weighing in with some uh, in real life experience, saying that uh, when you when fishing in real life. Using a, a pound test line that is too high can wreck your rod. So maybe that is part of the game mechanics here. I know I, I, we just saw Noise Police lose a rod not too long ago. Didn't lose it. He knows where it's at. It just broke. <laughs> Did, oh well, he better get himself to the mechanic and have it fixed. It is in the ocean. <laughs> he threw it? Now he threw trying, a rod? He's trying some more lures. I had mean, a car throw a rod once. That was not he fun. Should, he should just dance a jig. Oh, Banks with a 919. 
18? Okay. Spicy. Join in the 900 club. <laughs> I like that. It's the nearly mile high mile club. Alright, successfully navigating through to the next stage. For whatever that's worth. About tree fitty. About tree Catch a dolphin. That's what I'm hoping the Bengals do today. And Banks has finished the game. There was our beefy dude. And has restarted. We didn't get quite enough beefy dude. Uh, he was not there long enough. But, uh, we got enough. You know, just a peek. Just a peek at the beefy dude. Wow. Binks had a shot for a really good Florida time. That is a very good point, Adam Zero. The toughest, strongest fishing line possible. The damage that can do moving at high speeds and being pulled tight. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. So that's risk-reward, perhaps, in the game. If you're catching something small, it's not gonna... It's gonna cause the reel to overheat more, and it's not required. So I guess the, the higher test line probably... Um, it would be advantageous if you're trying to do the the smoking reel bit for the 100% maybe? Maybe it would cause that to pop up more often? Yeah, but you typically do use the strongest line for 100%. That's true, that's true. So maybe it, maybe that is, maybe it actually is uh, doubly beneficial. You know what I mean? Actually causing that to pop more often. I don't. I don't know. When I think about these NES games and the way that they're they're programmed, I, you know, I, a lot of it is kind of like borderline shysty. So it's like they put all this stuff in. It's like it's like the flavor text on the bottom of a magic card. It it doesn't do anything except make you laugh. Darth moving to Hawaii 3. And Binks is now... Oh, did it, is it Binks that fit... Yeah, Binks finished the game and started over. That's why his strength is now a C. But notice Ness's strength is a B, too. But He's back in Florida. That's, mm. that's um, the very first beach. Well, Ness... Uh, oh, Ness is back in Florida? Yeah, that's that's a beach in Florida. I think okay. it might whatever the whatever the very first one is that you can just mash A to get to. Um, it's typical for people to fish for Florida percent here. That is why I recognize it. I don't really recognize any of the other beaches. I feel like somebody's run a lot of Florida percent, and not much else. Um, I have I have a full time in the game somewhere. <laughs> I, I've beaten the game, but. I've tried to do Flora percent this month a little bit, kind of on the side when I had a few moments when my Ness was hooked up on the other side of the room. But I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some some daggum Rygar next month. Hopefully everything will be set up over here and I can go after some of that. You don't have long Much excited. No, no, not at all. Uh, yeah. I might even have I might even have some time on Saturday to start the month off right. I am excited for the uh, the teaching stream for the music for Rygar tomorrow that Birdbase is putting on. I saw him in chat earlier. That's tomorrow. That's right. When is when is that exactly, Pico? What time of day is that? Oh my god, and I'll be able to watch it because I won't be stuck doing work stuff. That's amazing. He was he was kind of doing some of the legwork for preparing oh. uh, what he would need for the class uh, earlier today. And uh, it looks really exciting, uh, really brilliant. So if you're interested in video game music or you just like playing music or, or you want to just watch a stream that's just not your typical everyday stream, 10 Eastern, he says in chat. 10 Eastern. It's going to be a good time. 
It's a oh, be there or be square Thank you for sort of situation. Bird. Appreciate that. Appreciate all you do for the community. Some generous fishermen out here throwing back all these marlins. Yeah, they're just, you know, just catch and release, right? It's just a good old fishing day on the lake. They get their shiner, their franzia. They're having a good old time. Shiner and Franzia, or put Shiner in a box? <laughs> Nobody puts Shiner in a box. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know what you need to do, Shiner right? Box. <laughs> box. Box. <laughs> you know what you need to do now, right? <laughs> now we need a clip. That's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Some Street Fighter music. That's a Russian attack music. It's exactly what I look like when I take off my t-shirt or overalls. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Oh man. Shiner Nobody put... in a box. <sighs> Nobody puts old Pokey in the corner. Oh man. It's so good. This is Shiner coming boxes. Well, I mean, the cardboard box of a six pack. Comes in right? a case. It's different. What? what? Shiner's a in case Shiner's isn't a box. Bottles. No, the case is different than a box. A case is a case. A box is a box. Okay. <laughs> Binks with another one on the line. It looks like it's not a marlin. I don't see a dorsal fin. Yeah. I'm gonna reel it in anyways. He's still building power, I think. Retro's got something on the line there. Got him! Nah. Oh. Tis a baby. Noise police pulling one on board. 600. Not enough. So the harder you have to fight is the indicator of how big it is, correct? Yes, correct. <laughs> that yeah. is absolutely right. The Marlins will never recover from this tournament. Right. <laughs> Florida fishermen are going to be like, dang, guys. <laughs> Take all of our Marlins. This is, this is no Marlin left. You can't play Florida percent for a whole no year. No Marlin left behind. That's called extinction, Pico. I mean, it's, it, it's only regional extinction. I mean, yeah, <laughs> this is—I mean, this is not like a global extinction. It's just a regional extinction event. Yeah. They'll have plenty they of over dorados and barracudas to catch. They overpopulate. <laughs> They're throwing a lot of them back. Let's be honest. I mean, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's just the—it's just the grandpappies they're keeping. You, know, you ever think about fishing around. from the fish's perspective? It's 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 going to be like telling oh. a UFO story. I was abducted. <laughs> Did you see Kuma's? Kuma's got a new uh, thousand pound uh -oh. weight. Ooh. Oh. What is it? Oh, I'm excited. What is it? We got a we oh, got a dead drop. Darth, Darth is weighing in too. Oh, we'll see it in a second. Let's see. Seven hundred, eight hundred. Nine sixty six. Not enough. Not enough. No. I, I hate it when it's on the low end of the thousand. Low, low I ball. Th I, I thought for sure that was the one. Man. Second biggest fish on the day, though. I don't want Peg Leg Pete to be right. <laughs> I mean. We got 14 minutes. There's plenty of time left. <laughs> uh, it looks like we need to update. <laughs> no, never mind. We got that. We got that. Strike that. Oh boy. We don't have a whole lot of fishing time left. We are in the fourth quarter. He's B 
beefing up. You'd like to do something with it, but the game is just so RNG dependent. Like it, it's totally just a luck of the draw. What type of fish you get, what size fish you get. Retro files fish is going nuts. Oh, the hook it. came out. Oof. Yeah, you have to watch that little hook indicator in the bottom right. If it, if you see it, like, jumping out of its mouth, uh, sometimes it's best to let it... Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go, Pico? Hey. You heard it. You heard it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. It gets a little jiggly in there. It's not... It gives me the jibblies. Plus, there's an annoying beep that comes along with it, which I'm glad I can't hear. Beeps tailing the whale. Besides, just oh. run him over. <laughs> just about. Oh, there we I'll go. There we go. The marlin. There you go. Right on. Retrofile ran over the whale. People being mean to Fudgy. Is that what's happening? Don't be mean to Fudgy the whale. Kind of it's not justified. Whoa! That's harsh. Pico's the one who's wanting to do the whaling game. I mean, that's true. <laughs> I was going to say that's incredibly uncharacteristic for Pico, but you're right. He but, did say he wanted to go whaling. So, the, the whales in this game, I've, I've historically had a really hard time getting anything to spawn behind them. I mean, yeah. So that's why that's why I have a personal distaste for these totally eight bit digital wells. You know, I'm not gonna lie, that I have a distaste for, for eight bit digital whales as well. But my wow. my hatred spawns from SMB two and Oh, uh, those whales are terrible off of those whales many times. Was that 4 2? Yeah. That is correct. Ness just caught another. Was it a thousand? No, I don't think it was a thousand. I didn't quite see it. He's he is zipping. He's so fast with the menuing, we can't see. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to get back to. He's got to be trying to get back to Florida. I mean, Hawaii. Yeah, 490. Yeah. Got to be trying to get back to Hawaii. Binks with a 676 and something else. Ooh. 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 Oh, oh, 938. 938. 938. That's a new total for Binks. It's a, it's a new top fish. So we've got what ten minutes left? Yeah, it's coming down to the wire. We got about ten minutes left. Um, it looks like um, Kuma has just. Oh, he's got another thousand pounder. Oh my goodness! Oh, Kuma. Yeah, he Kuma he is, is wisely. Going mad with those thousand pound yep. fish. Is this gonna do it? Come on! Oh! Nope. Ah. Nine eighty-seven. So, so it seems it seems as though the play here in Florida because you can just go fishing again is to just stay there and not end the day. Um, so you can just hang out in Florida 3. Oh, Noise has got a big one. Fish. Yeah. Oh! Noise with the 987. <laughs> 987. Oh my. Nice. Um, there, time is a factor now. Kumacon, as you can see, it's getting into the afternoon. Uh, because the sun is in the top uh, right corner now. Oh, Sorry, I had to moves. pause a moment to make sure. I... Yeah, yeah, based on how long you've been playing wow. in each area. Wow. Yeah. Not a thing as a speedrunner you want to see. Sun should be bottom left at all times. Pegleg Pete is pointing out that Kuma has the largest fish, the second largest fish, and the fourth largest fish. Yes. Yes, he does. Is there a manip we don't know about? 
Uh, well, no. Uh, but I say that very hesitantly because when the, the schools of fish spawn, the fish that appears behind them or that can appear behind them is static. So, I, be I believe that the fish is static. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I feel like I feel like when uh, Char did the task of this, that was one of the findings was that the schools of fish, if you could get the right one to spawn, that theoretically you could catch like the you could catch the same size fish. Oh, like the boatman would weigh it in at a certain size. But it's not. So there really... probably is a largest possible fish. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, the random number. I think the random number generator rolls the actual weight at at weigh-in. I forget. I think I tried to dig it up at one point, and I couldn't find it because I'm a scrub programmer. So. Well, I mean, you could test the at weigh-in because, like, you could save state with a thousand pounder. And oh sail yeah. A bit. Oh no no wait yeah so that's not right. It must do it at the boat pit, which would mean that it could, which would mean that the weight would be static based on the uh, potentially the the fish the school of fish it caught it from. I guess you could you could save state and then catch the fish and then weigh it, go back and then wait a few frames to catch it again and then see if it's the same weight. But I think it. Or get it to spawn at a different time behind the, the school of fish and then catch it again to see if that's true. But I think it's tied to the, the fish. Like, as it spawns, it, like, when it spawns in, it's not... It doesn't matter when the school drops the fish. I think it's always the same. So, Pico, I have a question. Yes, sir? Do you think you could avoid touching the numpad for five minutes? No. Uh... <laughs> Just, I'm just, just going to throw that out there. <laughs> you right. could set a five-minute countdown timer if you wanted to, to do that right now. And then just not update anybody's. We all have clocks. We can see when it's 1030. So all you streamers out there, all you anglers, <laughs> you fancy <laughs> pants <laughs> hookers. Welcome in, Billy. That's right. That's right. You have five minutes remaining to catch the biggest fish. The goal right now is to catch one bigger than Kumacon, which is 995. <laughs> and not one minute after to prove Peg Leg Pete right. <laughs> and if you catch a thousand pound fish, do not cash it in. Lady Galaga, thank Lady you for Galaga. the raid. Thank you so very much, Lady Galaga and Lady Galaga's raiders. We appreciate you. We're in the final stretches of our biggest Marlin event. As you can see, Kumakan in the lead with a 995 pounder. Uh, Noise Police right behind with a 987. But it's all up to the RNG now. Will the fish gods smile favorably upon someone else? Or will Kuma take it with a 995? Time is running short. It is. Retro's got a big one. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's fighting. On retrofile. Now we got three minutes left. It's plenty of time to get it into weigh it. It's gotta go now. Gotta go now, be it. Oh, oh it's a 500 pounder. 500, it's not enough. Dang. Dang it. Alright, Ness with another one on the line. Nope, it cuts it. It's not good enough. He knows what he's looking for. Chum in the waters now. I just 
saw a marlin pass through a wall on Kumicon screen. I just swam right through it. It's, it's that there's no jank in this game. I don't know what you're talking about. That that it, didn't happen. I just I think swam the under it. Ain't the only person on this water with a double A strength. So. <laughs> I mean, Kool Aid man, right through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> swam up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thought you catch me. That was the that was the thousand pounder right there. That's what it was. That's right. <laughs> It was like it was like eleven fifty. Just right, we got three fish waiting to be reeled in. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Eight hundred. Oh, it's a shark. All right. Two Retro Paul's got a thousand pounder. <gasps> Ooh, here it goes. Here Get we go. In. Fingers crossed. Let's go. You've got a minute and a half. Retro file. Wait! Push What's the button! Push the button, man! Oh, retro! Here we Building go. the suspense! Here we go. Retro! Here we go. What Come are on. you doing? Come on. What are you doing to me? Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Come on. It's Come climbing. on. It's climbing. Seven, eight, eight nine. 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 nine! Oh my god! <laughs> what the clutch? <laughs> Oh, Retrofile last to join the 900 nine. club. Woo. Amazing. Amazing. That was incredible. The speed god has done it at the last <laughs> moment. I think he's just going to let that screen just kind of take him to the I end. mean, yeah, I would. I, I mean, there's no other reason. Did noise there's, just catch another 987? Yes. yes. <laughs> or he cashed in. From from that could still be from uh, that from round. the 987 oh, okay. from before. Okay, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. He, that would be that would be kind of awesome. Retrofile <laughs> dot done. <laughs> dot done. Dot it is it done. is there is seconds remaining on the clock. But I think that's I think we're going to have to stick a fork in it. There's not a lot left. There's, I mean, anybody heading back with a fish? Tyrael's good. He, he think so. Tyrael? Tyrael maybe. Oh no, he just he's just hitting the dock. What's going on? What's he got? What's he got? He doesn't no. have a thousand pounder. No thousand pounder there. Dang. If anybody's currently weighing, I say we let him finish. But yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I think I think we are. I mean, we could go to we could go to ten thirty one to make sure it's the full hour. I mean. I don't. I don't think anybody's gonna. I think this is it. I think we're pretty much. with the reset, so that's him. Sailfish, Kuma, and it weighs about. Kuma's no. Retrofile's done. done. Noise is done. Binks is done. Darth Tyrael with the reset. Yep. Wow. I think everybody's done. That was amazing. Wow. What a what a finish. <laughs> Sniped what right a at the end. Oh, that was incredible. That, that was, was incredible. amazing. So, Retrofile, you know what you've got headed your way. <laughs> G frickin' G. Retrofile, the last minute entrant. What a finish. Yeah, Retrofile indeed. almost didn't even race. Almost didn't even race tonight. Oh, yeah. That was that was fantastic. Ness, thank what you a good raid. time. The complete inbox. Complete ish. Ish, yeah. In Mostly. Box. Nearly complete in box. Nearly complete in box. We could, uh, we could, we could bring Ness on in for a few minutes, just as a if he wants to pop in for a quick chat. Yeah, I since would, he is, I would since he's the either retro file or Ness. So if I think ready. retros, yeah, retros having was having an issue with his mic. I thought right, something was. Oh, okay. He was saying he okay. wasn't going to have okay. mic or camera. So yeah. I mean, if retro wants to pop in, my, I mean, I wouldn't be adverse to that either. My heart was never beating so hard for a fishing game. <laughs> I I cannot. I can't even believe it. That was so incredible. Is that why you couldn't push the button? Like your heart just <laughs> your body could. He was. It was dramatic effect. Dramatic. He knows. Effect. He knows how to keep us on the edge. All right, retrofile. Uh, retrofile has declined the interview. The interview. Yes, would you want to pop in? Do, 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 do. 
Alright, I think Binks has gone offline. Yeah, Binks is offline. Now Ness gotta... can pop it. Alright. There's Ness. In. Come on there in. Is, there he is. Come on in, Ness. Hello. 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 How are you guys tonight? We're that wow, that was that was a hell of a lot of fun. Um that was right down to the wire. I you can't I can't even tell you. It um, was a great race, you guys. It was it was a fun time. Uh the commentary was excellent. I was listening the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just a great time, you know? Uh Yeah, you, thanks you for you, you can't beat RNG. No, you definitely cannot. And this game has a heap and helping. Uh, yeah. Even over the course of an hour, it sure. becomes it becomes a, an RNG fest a bit. But it, I, it was a lot of fun to watch. It was a lot of fun to commentate. Um, we we appreciate you providing the the prizes for this event this month for suggesting the event to begin with. Um, mm -hmm. It's been quite it's been quite a month. It's been quite a month of Marlin. Yeah. No, I appreciate you guys actually being willing to accept such an event you know most people aren't into such a thing but i i think we all had a good time tonight i had a great time thank you so much yeah and it, I'll, I'll double up on what avodrog said you know thanks for chiming in on what you thought would be an excellent event idea and it was it differentiated itself from a lot of different events because you know i don't know what other race you can just put a timer or two and just casually play and it's still a race you know what other game you right can right with. and so it uh, really helps round out, you know, uh, the NES's library, but, uh, you know, our events in general. And if anyone else is out there listening and they're just like, well, I've had an idea for an event, um, you know, throw it down in the salsa shack. These things are a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun when other people get behind them and uh, they get to see their ideas, you know, get birthed into babies and grow up and start walking mm -hmm. and dancing mm -hmm. and fishing and reeling in right. 990 pound marlins so now yeah. i i, I kind of feel like maybe we should do this again yes next ne next year because uh you know like i say rng takes a lot of the skill out of it and you can only do what the game will let you do if if you're lucky enough you know it could yeah. be it could be the biggest black bass next year i know pico you might be excited for that right <laughs> <laughs> we can we can certainly we can certainly swing together. I mean, we did spring fishing last year. Right. Uh, Kuma talking. Maybe we do spring fishing again next year. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe we could we could maybe tuck a little fishing tournament in somewhere. We yeah. find some space for that. I think it's been yeah. a lot of fun. It was a good time. I just want to say congrats to Retrofile on the clutch finish. You pull oh, it yeah. out, dude. Good job. Amazing. Like it it just worked out. But uh, thanks so much to all the runners. Uh, you know, congrats to Darth for taking two of my world records and claiming some bounties and things. And everybody that participated this much. I just, I appreciate you all so much. And, uh, you know, let's do it again. Let's do something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right on. All right, then. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, man. Take care, thanks Ness, for And uh, thanks again for everything. We sure appreciate it. All right. Take out. Bye. And I guess we give one more heartfelt congratulations to Retrofile TV. A winner is you. Look at that wonderful copy of the Blue Marlin. That is the copy. That's not just some something I found on Google. That is the copy that will soon yeah. be in your skilled fisherman's hands. I mean, look at that. Look at the pecs on that guy. Man. <laughs> They're so shapely. <laughs> yeah, I he don't know. Stacked. He is he's holding a thousand pound, a nine hundred and ninety pound marlin. I think he's ninety nine. Yeah. Nine hundred and ninety nine pound marlin. Oh, that's a that's a that's a real big fish. That's what double A strength uh, looks like right there. That's double A strength. <laughs> <laughs> uh I mean it looks a bit more like double D strength to me, but uh, you know, <laughs> Right, you are. Well, we are getting the raid started for fellow salsa shacker Pegleg Pete, uh, who will be starting the RSCW Thursday night uh, very, very soon. RSCW, Retro Streamers Championship Wrestling, uh, all sorts of fun times, fun shenanigans, and, uh, you know, lots of RNG in there as well. So um, if you want to stick around and have a good time, it will definitely be worth it. Um, you guys have any? Avadrock, I think you and me are uh, wrestling uh, 
retrofile tonight and chuckles. So yeah, yeah. Um, good luck, guys. I'm, I'll be taking on uh, Nest Seven or Nine. So it's gonna be uh, a, I didn't. I didn't get to beat him. Of an event. I didn't get to beat him in the boat. So I'll try to beat him in the ring. But we're gonna head that way now. <laughs> good luck. He might slap you with that 999 pound tuna. I mean, Marlin. <laughs> My pecs are ready. <laughs> My good night, Patrick, everybody. My good night, Patrick everybody. Swayze, my Patrick Swayze pecs are ready. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we're gone. Good night. <laughs>